Yo, what's up guys? It's me, it's the Penguin. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to add PlayFab to your Google Tech Fan game. Okay, so the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is go down to the description and go to the Google Drive link and download everything in the Google Drive link. And now once you download all the stuff, you're going to go to your scene and you want to go right here where the like asset folder is. You want to right click, import package, custom package, then go to where you downloaded your projects at, which this is in my documents, in my new part packages. Then you want to double click on the PlayFab editor extension. And then just go like a little bit. And it takes you all this stuff. And you want to press all, then import. And since I've already imported PlayFab, it's not going to do anything. But after that's happened, like, it, I mean, it'll start like loading a bunch of stuff. But after it gets all loading, you're going to right click again, import package, custom package, then scroll down to Unity SDK, double click it, and it's going to do more stuff. Then you're going to press all, import, then uh, yeah, once, once all of it's done, you're going to exit out, you're going to reopen, you're going to reopen your Unity, okay? So once it's done, uh, once it's done reloading, you're going to go to Window, PlayFab, Editor Extension, and then, if, and then you want to click Set My Title, and it's going to show nothing right here because you have to set some, you got to set some stuff to get it working. So you're going to go to your browser, and okay, so once you're in your browser, you want to type in PlayFab, okay? Once you're to type in PlayFab, you want to press Enter. Now you should be taken to a page. You want to click PlayFab right here, and it's gonna show this for me, uh, because yeah. But it'll probably show you a page like this, just like sign, just sign up or sign, sign in with a Microsoft account. Okay, now that you're in here, I'm gonna blur all my IDs. But once you're in here, you're going to press New Studio. And you're going to type in studio name is going to be your game name. So I'm going to type in to Everest Safe Studio. Then once it's right here, you'll probably get a thing called My Game. I'm going to press here, title info, and rename it to the game of your, uh, name of your game. You can set a game logo if you want to. It's not, it's not necessary, but you can do it if you want to. Okay, but now you're going to click on your game, like right here. Then it will show a bunch of stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna press settings, press API features, and scroll all the way down to where it says right here. You're gonna check all these off, and you're going to check these two on. So this this is like what's it add currency and subtract currency. So it's this is basically like, this is basically like the shop system. Then this is um, banning reason, just like banning reason and duration. And uh, yeah, and then you just press save. And now, at the top right here, it'll say title ID. You want to grab this, right click, copy. You can go back and paste in that title ID. So once it's right here, okay, but now that you got the title ID in, uh, I'm gonna board it for prep, for like, yeah, anyway. So now, you're gonna go to your scripts folder, and you wanna right click, import new assets, and you want to Find the what's it called? You're, now you're gonna find that PlayFab login script that you got, and you gotta import it into your game. But then once you imported it, you should be all good. And if you get this video to 20 likes, I will show you how to add a shop system to your game. So you guys make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, bye guys.